Hey guys, yesterday I have uploaded a Minecraft animation. If you haven't seen it, then I'll put a link on the screen and also in the description bar below. And I'll show you a small clip from that animation. So in this tutorial, I'm going to create Minecraft character. So we'll need a cube for the face. So click on file, new, reload startup file and you'll get this cube by default. So we'll use this cube only. So click on view and view perspective or ortho so that you are in the ortho mode, orthographic mode. And here also go to front view. So click on view and front. So you'll get the front view. And we'll use a reference image. So press N to get the properties window and select the background image and click on add image and click on open I'll be using this image uh, which is for the front face and the left and right side I'll put a link in the description bar below so that you can download this reference image so press N to get rid of that properties window and we'll need to scale this cube so press s and scale it up and we'll go to wireframe mode so click on this button and click on wireframe you can see the controls here or whatever i'm doing so press s to scale it and move it here like this so this is the face we'll need one two three four five and six lines so go to edit mode and we'll use loop cuts press a to deselect everything and go to edge select mode and bring your mouse here and press ctrl r and just move your mouse so that you have a pink horizontal line and move your mouse wheel so that you have six pink lines and double click press a to deselect everything and we'll just move these lines and you need to be in the wireframe mode to do that so press b and select this one and move it here press b again and select this one and move it here Press A to deselect it and press B, bring it here, press A again, B and just repeat it. Like this. Now we also need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 vertical lines. So bring your mouse here and press Ctrl R so that you have one horizontal pink line and move your mouse wheel so that you have six lines and double click and press A. Again move these lines so press B and bring it here press A to deselect everything press B again and select this one and bring it here just move these lines to the correct positions. like this and now click on this button which is for face select mode we'll create materials so we'll create one this one for skin this one for hair which we will be using also for mouth and this is a slightly lighter brown color for nose and two colors for eyes so expand this window and click on this button which is for materials and here select cycles render Click on use notes 
select the color for skin and also expand settings window and select a skin color and now name it face or skin name it skin and press F to save it now click on this plus button for adding a new material and press on this new button and select a white color this will be the outer part of the eye so I will name it I underscore O and press F to save it again click on this plus button click on new and I will choose a purple color for the inner part of the eye or blue so I in and press F also uh, change the viewport color and press F so do this one more time for the nose which will be a lighter brown color also change the viewport color and name it nose and press F so we have the four colors now okay we need one more color for hair which will be a dark brown color so press this plus button again and new and make a dark brown color and here name it hair and press F now we'll assign these materials to each face so we'll go to front view and we need to select this and this face so this one and we need to go to solid mode and this one select these two uh, so select one face by right clicking on it hold shift and select other face and select the material you want I in and click on assign and select this face now and also hold shift and select this face and select I O and click on assign now select this face which will be the nose I'll show you this will be the nose and this will be the mouth so go to solid mode again and here select nose and click on assign select this face hold shift and select these three faces and now select hair hair and mouth color will be same and click on assign you can assign a different color if you want now I'll go to wireframe mode again so these faces will be the hair again go to solid view and select the, these faces and click on hair and click on assign the face is done now so we'll work on the left and right side so click on the right button to get the right view it will be like this so we need one and two lines one two yeah so bring your mouse here and press ctrl r and just move your mouse wheel so that you have two lines and double click press A to deselect everything press B and select this one and bring it here I just refer one more image to confirm okay it is like this one and two and three line so we need three lines so press ctrl R again Go to wireframe mode and go to right view and press ctrl R and double click so that you have now you have three lines so press D and bring this one go to right view and bring this one about here and again press D and bring it 
here and this one yeah the last one is yeah now it looks fine so go to solid view again and your hair will start from here so go to face select mode select this face these faces will be here so select these faces and click on hair and assign and Now select this one, this one, this one, and press assign. We'll do the same on the left side so select this face this 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 these all faces will be here and select the hair material and click on assign now select these faces and make them here okay this one also should be here So see the image and work accordingly. Now these all faces will be here. So select all the faces. And select the hair material and click assign. And do the same here on the back side. Select the hair material and click on assign. So it is done now. The head is done. Go to object mode. So this is what the head will look like. So we'll create the body in the next tutorial. And I'll also show you how to animate it. So thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. And also hit the like button. Bye.